A similar technique is called thin layer chromatography or TLC. This technique works in the same way as paper chromatography, however it uses a plate that is coated in silica rather than paper. Often the plate is made of aluminium to give a bit of strength. The use of a stronger plate and of a silica coating allows more corrosive and reactive substances to be used that would otherwise easily damage paper. Just like with paper chromatography, substances travel up the plate in a solvent. The more soluble a substance is in a given solvent, the faster it will move up the plate. Comparisons between the distance travelled by the solvent and the distance travelled by a sample in the same amount of time enable substances to be easily identified. RF values are used to describe these distances and the RF value of a substance is calculated by taking the distance travelled by the substance and dividing it by the distance travelled by the solvent, also referred to as the solvent front. Both of these distances have to be travelled in the same amount of time. Values will always be between 0 and 1, and the greater an RF value, the greater the affinity the substance has for the mobile phase. Different solvents can be used depending on the substances being studied. For example, a highly polar substance would travel quickly up a plate if a polar solvent such as ethanol was used, and as a result, the substance would have a high RF value. However, if a less polar or even non-polar solvent such as hexane was used, the substance would barely move up the plate and have a very low RF value as a result. For many organic molecules, locating agents or dyes such as ninhydrin have to be used to enable the substance's positions on a TLC plate to be identified. UV light can also be used as many organic molecules absorb UV light.